Key parts of the Patriot Act, the deal NSA, with NSA surveillance program with how much the government can balance of citizens' privacy, well, that act is set to expire at the end of the month. So right now, Republicans are pushing for a renewal of the measure that allows the bulk collection of Americans' phone data. That is the crux of it, Section 215. The Senate is preparing to take up an NSA reform bill that's been approved by the House, the USA Freedom Act. Now, that would limit spying, but proponents say it would go far enough to do what we need to do. So what's the state of play? We have with us Representative Bob Goodlatte. He is the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee and one of the authors of the bill joining us now. Patriot Act is expiring. Section 215 is in the crosshairs. Do you believe that we can accomplish the intel needs of the United States and also give people more privacy? Absolutely, and that's what the USA Freedom Act, the House bill, which uh, is, uh, was voted by 338 to 88 through the House, extremely bipartisan, carefully negotiated with the administration, with the House Intelligence Committee, uh, supported by the President. It's uh, very bipartisan, and uh, it will do just that. It will uh, end bulk data collection, as I think the American people want, but it will, in its place, have a program where, under a court order, the uh, uh, NSA and other intelligence gathering organizations can uh, go to the phone companies and get in real time the data they need to track suspected terrorists. Now the other side is that the intel community says, Congressman, the threat is getting worse all the time, especially online. If anything, we're behind. If you do anything to take tools away from us, it's going to compromise security. How do you avoid swinging the pendulum towards popular opinion too much and compromising safety? By carefully negotiating this with the NSA, which is exactly what we did uh, this weekend in the Baltimore Sun, the last chairman of the House Intelligence Committee and the ranking member, Mike Rogers and Dutch Ruppersberger, uh, wrote an op-ed endorsing the USA Freedom Act. Uh, it was supported in the House. The, the chairman and ranking member, the current chairman and ranking member, voted for it. Uh, the Obama administration has carefully been involved in this as well. So this is not just uh, a throw out the the data collection and don't do anything about it. This is uh, stop the government from metadata collection, and not just telephone metadata, but any kind of metadata, and not just under Section 215, but under several other sections as well of the law, and then protect American civil liberties, but have in place a new mechanism whereby uh, the NSA can get the same information uh, up to two hops, and once the court issues the order, it can stay in place for 180 days, so new phone numbers coming in on, on the number that the order uh, from the court said they could get information would be continuing on in real time. It will be effective, uh, and it will protect American civil liberties. You can have a high level of both, and that's what this bill does. So let's play out the two uh, levels of opposition you're taking on right now. One comes in party, uh, Senator McConnell, uh, who is saying, no, 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 no. This is the time to reauthorize these sections of the Patriot Act because the threat is greater, and you guys are playing politics at the wrong time. Your response? Can't do it, Chris. First of all, the Second Circuit Court of Appeals ruled uh, two weeks ago that the current uh, program violates the law. Uh, and uh, we believe we're going to see other uh, circuit courts that have also uh, had uh, cases brought uh, rule similarly. So this has got to be changed. Secondly, uh, we're not playing politics at all. We're protecting Americans' rights uh, under their Constitution. And uh, that, I think, is very important. But it's also important to have uh, the national security protections desired. Uh, senators who are in any doubt, and I think a majority of the Senate already supports this bill, but those who may be in doubt uh, should take a close look at the actual language of the bill. Well, this one of them bill. is another Republican named Rand Paul, and he's saying he's threatening another filibuster because he says this doesn't even come close to protecting privacy the way it should. There's no way to need these surveillance tools that you're giving in this reform situation. You're not going far enough in that direction. Your response? Well, the response is very simple. There are uh, measures in this bill that protect our civil liberties, uh, and they do it the way we have always done it. When law enforcement or anyone else wants to conduct an investigation, get information, they go to court and they get an order upon the showing of appropriate uh, evidence that they are entitled to that order. That's what the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act provides for the FISA court, uh, and we simply restore that. It uh, was taken away when the, the 
uh, administration several years ago started this data collection program right. and we simply restore the proper use of the law. What is your percentage What is your uh, the percentage chance of making a deal on this do you think at this stage? Well, we've made a deal. Uh, we've made a deal uh, between Republicans and Democrats, between uh, uh, defense hawks and civil libertarians. I'm saying with we've the made Senate. A deal with the administration and the NSA, and that's what the House bill is. Uh, it's time, given the fact that this law expires on May 31st, for the Senate to step up uh, and take the House bill. It's a good bill. All right. Thank you very much, Congressman. Appreciate it. Obviously, we're going to be following the debate very closely. You've heard what the Congressman.